Chris Hemsworth. I feel like you have a lot to say about this. So yeah. basically, the talk of the town is that uh, it was basically said that there that Chris Hemsworth Thor is going to go back to the old Marvel formula for Thor five. Um, now here it. I'm I'm just going to give you my take and then I'm going to just let you go because I, I know you have a lot to say about this. Now, me personally, a lot of people, I believe that a lot of people think that Thor was figured out. And here's the thing. Taika Waititi never figured out Thor. He got lucky with one movie. There's only one. There's only one. There's only really one good time or one group of people that figured out Thor. And that was the Russos. The Russos finally figured out that Thor is just mad powerful and that he's just been underused this whole time in the MCU, okay? And we saw Thor be used properly in in Avengers and in, in Avengers in in Infinity War. I didn't really like Thor in the game. I, I just didn't understand why he was still fat Thor, but he was still op op uh, powerful and uh, stuff like that. But we need a very serious Thor film that doesn't downplay him and make him a comedic relief because. They had like in Thor Love and and, and uh, Thunder, they did show the power level of Thor. We all knew that Thor's power level was insane, but fans have a hard time understanding his power level when he doesn't take himself seriously. And I think that is the main issue. And I mean, for this to work, Taika Waititi has to go. Yeah, Taika Waititi has to get the hell out of here. And um, and they need and they need someone serious to actually be in there. To do it, um, and and you know, if I was Kevin Feige, do you know who I would have honestly hired to direct a a, a uh, Thor film that would have made a balanced movie before he got hired by DC? James Gunn would have been the perfect guy to do Thor, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, yeah. and uh, I just think that Taika, like Taika, had too much freedom, but also like when you rewatch Thor Ragnarok, it's not as good as people think. Thor Ragnarok is held in a very high regard and. Where I'm at nowadays, dude, Thor Dark World is better than Thor Ragnarok. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I think that the Thor movies um, are like in the order they came out. I think that's the order of quality on the Thor movies. Number one, number two, Taika Waititi is so cocky and so you know, uh, like not. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, he's so he's cocky and incompetent, and that's like the two the two worst things. It's the worst combination you could have, right? And you know, like I think that Thor. Uh, listen, I would love to see Thor five and Thor return to his MCU roots, but like, how do you do that after you had Thor get stripped like? Butt naked as a joke, and like you had people like fainting. Like, yeah, what the hell is this? It was so ridiculous. Um, and I kind of, you know, what I want to see? I want to see Kang kill off our MCU Thor and them launder in a new Thor in Secret Wars, and then make Thor five because that's the only way you could do this. So you mean Thor. without? So you mean like? Like no more Hemsworth or bring it. No, no, I'm talking to Hemsworth. Just another variant, you know, another timeline, and you know, you bring him into the main MCU timeline. Um, but the the they need to seriously redeem Thor, and they can't just you can't just have something a th- regular Thor movie come out after Love and Thunder and act like Love and Thunder never happened. They need to take some serious steps to course correct and to redeem Thor in the eyes of the fans and, you know, myself included in that, because it was just so absurd that that movie was ever made. And it's insane to me that the people at Marvel let Taika Waititi double down on the bullshit from Thor Ragnarok. But you know what? I, you know what I think of it is about the Thor Ragnarok too? I think that, you know, it's like the cameos. Like, oh, Hulk was in it, you know, and, and it was like a little silly before everything was silly. So, and, and like Taika Waititi, you know, got popular. Um, but I just can't believe that they ever let that movie come out. You know what they should have done that with that movie? They should have done the same thing that Warner Brothers did with Batgirl. They should have scrapped it. They should have deleted it and never let anyone saw it. 
it would have been the best move Marvel has made uh, since Endgame. And, yeah, you and um, I both know that Marvel doesn't yeah. roll like that, man. That they're gonna because because they put hundreds of millions of dollars. Disney don't roll like that either, man. But yeah, I well, will. They should they should delete it off of Disney Plus. They should never let anyone see that shit again. <laughs> it is trash, and and it does a disservice to the MCU. It does. It, it is it is a terrible project, and um and you know I mean like and like I don't blame them for why they did that, right? Because look, right. If I'm thinking about it from a practical standpoint, right? Taika Waititi's The Ragnarok made so much money, and okay, like, and it got to showcase the true power of Thor, and people loved it. So I understand why you would, like, you wouldn't give, why you would give him the the, the freedom. But like, as a studio head, you gotta, like, you gotta really take, like, because obviously he's screen testing all this, and you're seeing the freaking movie, point. and like, That's my like, you, like you can't be seeing the progression of this and say, oh, this is gonna make a billion dollars. Yeah. Like, oh, there's no way you, you could have saw that and said that. Yeah, it was so bad. Like, so right. bad. So, yeah, man. Okay. So, and so, yeah, I do think that they need to go back and really look at Thor. But I do think that there, there needs to be a new formula with the character. Um, I, I think they should maybe go watch some animated solo films and get some inspiration from that. Some read read uh, some, some, some comics. I would even go and watch Game of Thrones and get and, and, and find some of those tones that they have because that you know Thor is a yeah. mid- medieval type of a character. Like you, like if I was them, I would go watch something like House of the Dragon. You know, something that's very serious toned and try to adapt some of those tones into Thor uh, into Thor Five because one of the one of the things that 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 is not okay and it is the same thing as with Doctor Strange, right? Me, and you always say. Why the hell is Doctor Strange not the Sorcerer Supreme? Why the hell is Thor not the King of Asgard? You know, like, like, like there are just certain things with certain Marvel characters that need to happen. Thor should have been the King of Asgard after Avengers Endgame, and there's no other way around it. It's legit BS that that he's not. And um, I'm ready to see King Thor, in my opinion, yeah. and I'm ready for Thor to have some kids and get this Young Avengers thing going because this was this is the era that we're in. 